How are we doing, everybody? I'm back with an unexpected second boxing or uh, unboxing of today. I guess first unboxing, since first thing was an unenveloping. But I got in my Bam Harbor box, which I wasn't supposed to get till till tomorrow. So it is actually the earliest I've ever gotten a box going from that system. This is my last Bam Harbor box, um, and it's not because of what's inside. I am actually aware of most of the things inside, and I like a couple of them, so I hope I don't get a one-up in some cases, because I think in some cases the one-up isn't as good, but I haven't seen the pins, so maybe the pins one-ups are really good, but I love the regular print, I hope I get the regular print. The reason I say this is my last box is just because you've seen my other video, I've been getting a lot of Zobie stuff, Zobie's cheaper, Zobie tends to get the stuff, same people, a little bit quicker. So you avoid the overlap. Like right now, we're going to have overlap because the main order in this box is also the box from the Zobi Mystery Grab Bag. I didn't know that was the case, you know, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But this box, I will give them this. From everything I've seen, and again, sometimes you got to look up close, they did a good job. Now, I'm not rushing to renew nor other people because, you know, like, for example, the good job, the, pen, the Pet Cemetery has a pen in it. Pet Cemetery is supposed to be in the last box, so... They're supposed to make up for it. Did they really make up for it, or did they just switch it to this? So, the people from last one kind of still missing an item. But anyway, I digress. Let's see what we got inside. A couple of things again. From what I've seen, um, what was it? Marie Gifford. I, was, I watched her unboxing. I hope I don't get the mask, because I don't like the mask. I don't think it's a mask. I think it's a sack to cut eyes into. But the print will be fine. I love, 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 love... The Return of Living Dead print. Uh, the cage pin would be just fine, although it's just other cool ones in there. Like that, that we'll see. The Gremlins item, yeah, so so. We'll see. Do like to see that in person. And then there's something else. It's weird, isn't it? I'm telling you what's in the box while I unbox it. I'm just sort of telling you what I hope I get anyway. So we will open it up. And we will move some stuff. Okay, good. I do not have. I do not have a one up, which is good, which I know people. Normally don't say, um, happily. But this is the item from Gremlins that I want to take a peek at. Because it looks like it's a Gremlin transforming from a Mogwai into a Gremlin. I, I, I think that's what the image looked like. Um, as I keep unrolling the plastic, it's small. But size, size doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> it does with some flops, but... Let's take a look. You don't want anything to be too fragile, eh? Okay. See, I can't tell if it's a hatching, because I don't remember if that's even how it took place, or if it just, after you wet it, or if it's, um... Okay, uh, I'll show it to you. I don't think it's something I'm going to hold on to if you're a Gremlins fan, and... You and I do a trade, mention it to me, and it could easily be put in your box. Um, it, it, it's different. I'll give him that. I haven't seen anyone try to tackle a cute gremlin. They try to tackle the cute mogwais. I've never seen anyone try to say cute gremlin. The next item, the one I forgot when I was talking to you just now, is the Sam Lollipop from Trick or Treat. Let's see. It's done well up front. Like, up top is heavy. This is kind of flimsy. So you almost would worry how you store it could eventually break it. Would snap off. Like, it's definitely not something you want to be careful with. Like, put it somewhere and be done. But, like, I personally just got... I just got this. Okay. From Zobie. The stick, good strength, good pressure, and autograph. So, I will... Actually, you know what? The size, length is comparable. But even just showing you the size of the piece itself and the stick, I don't know. It's not bad. Definitely not a bad item. I know a lot of people will be a fan. And Sam, if you're a fan of Sam, and we have a trick. Right off the bat, I'm seeing stuff I can see Phil being like, Hey, Craig, we should do another box. But I'm sure he already probably has that. This, oh, I love. This is the main pin. This isn't one. This isn't the, um, 
This is Cage, unfortunately, when he was killed. Well, when he was funeral. I think the funeral. And I actually even forgot that, so I saw Marie say it, so I'll give her the credit for that. You know, that was his uh, funeral attire. <sighs> Which didn't go well for everyone else. I have a, I actually have a figure of Cage from, um, I'm not going to dig into all my old boxes, but I just got a custom figure of him done too, so I am a big fan of him. Although, I didn't get asked for that one, that was kind of a perk. Uh, next we have the autograph and the print. The print, I mean, I love it. I, this is by far, and again, this is purely because I'm a huge Return of Living Dead fan. I will find a way to get this autograph by Tall Man and by Renee Quigley. I would love to make that happen. Like, it is, the colors in this are so vibrant. Like, I don't know if you can see. I move a little bit. Like, all the way in the back on the wall. Um, I have Return of Living Dead stuff. I have the Tall Man figure. I have a few other things. I have a Renee Quigley figure kind of standing up there. Yeah. You know, yes, she can turn around, but I have it, you know, presented, you know, normally. So I am such a fan. It is definitely my top ten. And this is, by far, I don't even have to think about my favorite band print, ever. And last, we have the autograph from The Strangers. And I haven't seen the actual picture yet. Um... Okay, I might, I, I don't know, if, I don't know which one I like better. The one I got here from Damien Mathai or the one I got from my Zobie thing. Either way, this one looks really, really good, though. So I give him credit. They chose a nice, creepy picture. I think this is when he pulls up to the car from the, in the trailer, um, and all of a sudden you hear, I think we're alone now. The beating of, that's, that belonged in a horror movie. I, I still haven't seen Strangers 2, but I will. And then we don't have the normal thing this year. For spoiler, which only upsets me because I don't get a chance to see what the other pins look like, because I am a Pet Cemetery fan. There are two variants. Um, one's at two fifty and one's at ninety nine, so you don't have a a super low numbered variant, which I suppose is good for the pin collectors. But for those of you who are still in with Bam, I, I hope this is the sign of things to come because this is a really really nice box. This is kind of, I think, what you hope to get. You, you know, an iconic sort of pop. Like the Sam Lollipop, even if the stick isn't the greatest. The pin. I don't mind the pin being a little bit small. It's still a double pin back. And it's a cage, so you're not expecting a giant. And then this little thing, which I'm not going to wrap again. The Gremlins piece. That's really cool, because it's different. So, very, very nicely done. Uh, bam. Uh, if... I will eventually maybe get back with you come October. Because I, I tend to go crazy with all the hard boxes in October. I magically tell myself that this is the month. It's Halloween. Everyone's going to be great. Which it always isn't. But I, I still say my favorite BAM box ever, not BAM hard, BAM ever, was the, what, 2016? Was it that one ago? The 2016 hard box that had uh, Rinder Brad, that had Screech, that had um, Skeet Ulrich in it. And a few other things. But anyway, folks, as always, thanks for checking out my video. It is a much appreciated. Like, comment, if you like what you see too, give it, give it a sub. And I will catch you later.